Welcome back guys, Just Mike here. Anyway, I have another clock I'm going to save from the hubs of hell. <laughs> I'm probably not going to show how I clean the works or anything, but I'm going to do some more metal leaf on this one and I'll show you why. Yeah, it's starting to get dark out, so I hope my camera's going to pick this up. You know, we have a lot of this styrofoam, styrofoam that's been ripped up and thrown in here, so it actually was shipped halfway decent. So let's pull this thing out. Isn't that a beauty? So as you can see, someone took their talent and painted it red and some dark red on it, tried to make it look fabulous. White door, cuckoo bird disappeared. And it does have the bellows and the works in here. Doesn't have the back door. The Swiss shop. From Cal California. So this is just a sales ad for their place, I guess. Back when it was bought. Anyway, let me get this thing taken apart. And see what's going to go on here. Now, the nice thing is here... This has the antique hands. It's got the decorative nut here. It's got the washer, or it's a nut. And this actually has the ring on it. So this should be where the hand would normally fit over it. That has a square, used to have a square minute hand. So that's what I got for hands. Let's take this thing apart a little bit and see what we can come up with. The bird door, when the wires came out, like I say, it doesn't make any difference. We can fix all that. If you can get these clocks cheap enough, it's worth it. So we have two nails here. I'm hoping to pop them back out. I'm going to have to use the pliers, I guess. we got to be careful because we do have two nails up there. This was broke at one time also. Which doesn't help matters any. But hopefully we can get her. And then we should have a nail there and a nail here. I don't know if I can get this thing popped apart far enough. It's trying. Feels like there's more nails in here. I don't feel any. Here we got that one to come up. A lot of rust on the end of it makes it harder to get out. Big time. So now we need to work this loose where the nails are and try not to scar anything. There's a chance sometimes you can loosen them up and push it back up. And the nail come through and they're not, they're stuck. Nice to get just one of these nails shoved back up through. So I can get them out. Get the other one out easier. I 
Now I shouldn't have to worry about this one as much because it has nothing holding it besides the frame. There we go. Let's go ahead and get that nail out also. And the door's already pulled off. I think we'll go ahead and finish the lower one. And so, to do this the way I need to, I gotta pull this off. It's got a couple nails. Let me get my smaller screwdriver in here. This looks like they put a clear coat probably to seal that there when they sprayed this. And just in case you're interested, this is a regular made in Germany. Uh, it's a patent number 812538. I went ahead and popped the bellows out just so I can show you. You see this fatter bar here that the pendulum wire goes through? If you have a fatter bar like this, then that normally means that if your clock is crooked, you can hold on to the pendulum wire here and Pull it just a little bit one way. If it ticks worse, pull it the other way because it has a what I guess you'd call a clutch in here that will make it so you can level your clock when this is level this way. So that's a unique thing as far as I'm concerned when it comes to these some of these works here. Let's see if I can show you a little bit closer what this is if you're interested. I don't know if you can see much. Made in Germany, there's a patent number. Oh, it's a division, or I'm a sure division, DIV period, patenting, M. I don't know what that is in there. i going to get my better glasses. And then down here, on the bottom you can see whatever it says there so this clock besides I'll take the works out of it and I'm obviously going to clean it I'm planning on painting this oh uh, here it is it's a chestnut color which will be kind of a yellow I'm going to paint just the front of this because I want a lighter color than this dark stuff. And like I said, it's not going to matter. It's got this uh, stuff on it anyway. And what I plan on doing with this is I'm going to cover everything with the copper leaf. I'm going to do the wood, the leaves, everything with the copper leaf. And I'll obviously do the pendulum too to match. And then put it back on with that chestnut color and see what I think of it. So I got the chains back on. I just wanted to show you. It does tick. And let's see. It does, let's call it cuckoo. So considering it's got a, you can feel something on here. It is a bit dusty, does have hair in it. But I just wanted to show you that it actually does work, so it's promising. Strangest looking bird I've ever seen. Well, there's the first coat, dried pretty much. Like I said, I'm not doing the sides, I'm just doing the front. 
so that way the copper will maybe stand out a little bit better compared to the dark background that I learned on another clock that most people think this should be lighter so that's what we're doing I'm also doing the doorway and I'll glue that back on there I never knew how they were stuck on but they're just glued on there Well, I got the second coating on here, and it's nice and solid looking. So let's start with this metal leafing. This is a kit I bought. This has a sealer, which normally I don't use when I do the clocks. I use a matte finish spray. And this here is the adhesive. And I put all my metal leaf in here. This kit only came with copper, or gold I should say. And I'm planning on using copper. Let me clear some of the stuff out of the way. So the only thing I plan on doing is this. The pendulum, or the bob I should say, I'm not going to do the stick because you're moving it up and down on there and I don't want that messed with. Looks like I have to do some uh, painting on this maybe to get rid of that paint. And I'm going to do the door. So the first thing I do is I'm going to move the sealer away from me so I don't accidentally grab it. So the door, I'm going to do both sides so it looks nice when it does open up too. This here, you just paint it on here and wait for it to turn clear and then you can do the leafing on it. I got too much on here but whatever. Let's, I'm going to do the back side of this first. So I'll be back after I get this all done, ready to start leafing. So the door is ready. This still got a little bit of white on it. Let's see how careful I can get this up. This stuff is kind of hard to work with when it comes to being careful because it's not that easy. It likes to float. Get my screw or my nail hole poked through here. So I can hang the bird again. This is the back side, so it's not as important to cover everything. And besides that, cracking through isn't going to bother me one bit. So when I do the front, I'm hoping to do a better job. It, it doesn't make any difference. It's still nice. Let's go ahead and try this. What I like doing is getting a small piece per se. I just rip this. If I can get to rip right. We'll call that right. And again, this is the back of the pendulum. And this only sticks where the glue 
is or the adhesive as they call it so let me get it on both sides or on this side this here and I'll be right back didn't turn out too bad the door had so many grooves and I couldn't and is white so I couldn't tell and it's starting to come through if you don't let it dry this gold will wipe off so you have to be really careful when you're doing grooves like this uh, don't do it on a white background is all I got to say but I'm gonna let that dry and see what happens this turned out pretty good yeah we got a touch of red there if I wanted to hide that it's on the back side but if I wanted to hide that I could put a little more adhesive on there and just put a little piece of gold that I got laying right here or not gold but copper colored uh, leaf so let me set that aside let that door dry and see what happens I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing here uh, the adhesive all on it and see what goes on and again I'm gonna do the back side first the only thing I'm gonna worry about is the parts that actually show once this is on the box so that means it'll be just this area here this area here and this area here and of course I'll get the leaves that I, that I can on the back side too that have the deeper grooves I got the back half done the box will be here so you don't even see all this and there's no sense in doing that now the ugly side you get the sealer on and start putting that gold leaf on so it's a little odd but I have you down closer so maybe you can see it instead of me covering it up whatever you do don't let the heater kick on that has a fan or your air conditioner depend on, depends on when you're going to do this you're doing is just sticking it down right now not too worried about brushing or anything else you see that red popping out I'm not gonna keep that popping out so that might be something you want to keep in mind get a color underneath there you don't mind popping out normally you take it with the tissue like this and set it on there I normally take it off if I can don't want to come off there because this way I can handle it however I like just lay it over it go to town now this one I'm gonna go ahead and rip the best I can in strips ripping it doesn't always cooperate but I don't have that much to really cover
Don't worry about doubling over. You'll brush all that off. And a little strip right here. I'm not getting too aggressive at the moment. I kind of want to make sure it dries a little bit better. And taking pieces where the dark or the red's showing, if, it, if the glue's still working, put that in there. And also, once you get this halfway cleaned up, to where you're satisfied remember you're gonna either use a sealer over this that that, that comes with it which uh, I'm not gonna use that I'm gonna use a spray and that's gonna let's say weld that down on here so you shouldn't have to worry about it coming off let me clean this up a little bit more and we'll take a look at it so this is how it turned out. I'm going to wait till morning so I can get a better look at this thing. We do have a little bit of the red showing. So that's a good reminder for you. Whatever color's on the inside, you might want to make it all brown, all one color of some sort. If you don't mind the red st sticking through like this clock looked originally, then uh, <laughs> you should paint it brush paint it so let me get the box real quick I know by the way you see all that down below it's a uh, something that really gets carried away <laughs> you need to go shake it outside so so far I don't think that looks bad at all Still got to buy the topper for it. So we got the house double painted. I got this glued on. There's this. So that helps set off the gold, I think, compared to a dark color like this. I still need to give this the age look or whatever you call that. And... I think that looks pretty good. So now I have this to do. So on the back side of this, it does say made in Germany. And so when I do the back side with the copper leaf, I'm not going to do that part so it'll stand out. But obviously it's going to be hidden by the clock. So that's what I plan on doing is doing the back side first like I did on the frame of this. This here I did the back side first. And then I'll do the front side. The sides always dry up faster. And dry is normally what you want. But I think this is just a bit too dry for what maybe I'm looking for. I don't know. Let's see if we can tear some of this. Let's get another sheet. And again, I'm going to tear it. I don't need that whole sheet up here when I'm trying to deal with this. I'm 
Yeah, it broke off on there. It doesn't make any difference. It's not going to stick on top of itself. So you can see where I need to put more of the adhesive because, like I say, when it soaks in so fast, see, none of this is really taken. So I'll do these edges again when I do the front. Some of them took, but not many. And hopefully the adhesive that already went soaked in will be dry enough it won't soak in as fast again. So I'm going to clean this up and I'll get the front done. So I'll be back when I get done. So this is my finished, almost finished project. i put this on there and get it wiped that down off, whatever you want to call it. This is going to tone it down, the color of the copper. Even though it's, the copper is nice, let me show you on about half of this. Just rubbing it down also helps pull the flakes that aren't sealed down. Or might even help seal them down. So that's about half of it. It kind of gives it that, of course I guess that's what it's meant for, that antique look to it. And I mean the clock is antique so And always look at your front it's the main product here that you got to worry about this is what it's going to look like because each time you do this look for Klingons that just stand out that didn't stick down you're going to wipe them off and make it smooth looking. So there it's a little darker. Just some Klingons here and there. And I'm pretty close to liking the way it finished out. So let me get the other two or three pieces done and then I'll go spray them with a matte clear after they've dried a little bit better.
So that was my copper clock, uh, the metal leafing I did on it. I will admit, yes, I lost some of my video. I need to pay more attention when I upload it that I got everything together. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this. And don't forget to su subscribe because it's free. And go ahead and leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up on the comment. Just say hi or tell me some of your stories of your clocks. Anyway, until next time, God bless and enjoy your day. Thank you.